Hello everybody. So today I'm in the Smokies at the Cosby Campground near Cosby, Tennessee. And you see behind me, I'm starting on the Low Gap Trail. I'm doing a crafted loop here that I made looking at the website and I'm gonna go up to the AT. Um, if I have time, I'm gonna summit Mount Guillo and uh, try and find it because last year I passed it twice and I wasn't able to find it or the trail that's supposed to take you to the summit. So I'm gonna try and do that today if I have time. Getting off to a late start, it's 11.30. Um, so I'm gonna go down to the Laurel Gap Shelter, which is off the Balsam Mountain Trail. So today it should be about 17 miles if I keep with my itinerary. There's all kinds of loops you can make. Um, I could take the shorter route uh, using Low Gap all the way down to um, almost the same route to get to the shelter and that would be either 11 miles if I go the shorter route or 13 miles if I go the longer route going towards the east. I don't remember the names of the trails, but um, yeah, I'm going to try and do the 17 mile route. But like I said, it's off to a late start. So we'll decide as we go and see how it looks uh, with time. Um, I know it's been a while since I produced a video, but uh, rest assured I got some videos I'm going to make here. Um, because I have another trip scheduled for next week in preparation for the Benton Mackay, which will be the following week. So I will keep you guys tuned in. So it's still a forest road here on the trail, still within the campground. I like these bridges in the Smokies. They're not everywhere though. Some places you have to ford the creeks and they could be deep and flowing pretty good after a good rain. But these uh, creeks are very scenic here. So this trail is turning out to be a butt kicker. It goes up with no reprieve. <laughs> so got to gain some serious elevation to get up to the AT anyway. So I'll let you know what I decide as far as which trails I do today. Um, might be tomorrow that I end up going back on the AT to Summit Gio. We'll see how it goes. Look at that. Clouds are resting on the ridge. That's why they call it the Smokies. All the dense vegetation. This creates a lot of humidity in the warmer months. I thought I'd share this with you guys. This is quite beautiful. Carpet of small white flowers. starting to drizzle off and on. All right, so I've made it to the intersection of Low Gap Trail and the Appalachian Trail. So I'm gonna go down the Low Gap Trail and come back on the AT tomorrow and uh, come back by way of Snake Den Ridge. I've reached the trail junction with the Big Creek Trail and campsite 37 is just down there. I'm gonna go this way to stay on Camel Gap Trail. Uh, I've been on Low Gap Trail for 5.6 miles. The sign says that it was 5.4 miles. And that was a 5.6 on Gaia. All trails said 5.9 miles. All right, I couldn't resist but show this to you guys. This is Big Creek right here um, in the vicinity of Campsite 37. There's a bunch of people camped out here already. And it's not even three o'clock in the afternoon. So they must've started early because I still have a little ways to get to my campsite. But there's a creek behind me. It's 
beautiful. Goes down to the Big Creek Campground. Show you some of the campsites over here. Like I said, there's a bunch of people here already. <clears throat> Looks like a pretty well kept campground or campsite, I should say. It's not a campground. The campground is where I started at, at the Cosby Campground. There's one site right there. Show this to you over here. There's another site. How's it going? Good. How are you doing? Pretty good. Just doing some recording here. <laughs> There's the other site right there. I like that site better, I think. Right by the creek. That's good to know. Well, there's no serious rain in the forecast, so I think it'll be all right. <clears throat> Plus, I'm not coming back this way tomorrow. It hasn't rained much lately, so we'll see how it looks when I get there. But I don't think it'll be an issue. All right, so now I'm at campsite 36. And Big Creek is not such a big creek anymore. It's gotten more narrow. Still picturesque. See all the campsites in here. Take you down here. I haven't seen anybody over here yet. They were all at the other campsite. <clears throat> kind of reminds me of Forney Creek, where I was uh, at Campsite 71 with two friends last year. These two campsites are really close together, not even a half a mile apart. Campsite 37 and 36 on Big Creek. <clears throat> Beautiful. Just love these creeks in the Smokies. I'm gonna get back on the trail here and head on down to Gunter Fork Trail. Look how grown up the vegetation is already. It's only May 4th. <clears throat> but Smokies is a temperate rainforest. It receives a lot of rain. I think it was um, close to 100 inches on the ridges and something like 50 plus in the valley. One is Gunter Fort Falls. This is the Gunter Fort Cascade. Not a lot of water flow, but we've had it pretty dry recently. I bet you with a good rain, this would look really nice. Still, it's, it's beautiful. So you can see the views are opening up now as I climb higher and higher. I'm at 4,400 feet elevation now. Climb 600 feet and seven tenths of a mile up this Gunner Fork Trail after I left the Gunner Fork Cascade. It's pretty steep, but I mean, it's gradual, so it's not terrible. Looks like a rock face right there. But yeah, it still has 800 feet more of climbing in a relatively short distance. Yeah, 
5,400 feet now. You can see how the forest has changed. Canopy is mostly pine, spruce, balsam. And I always love the Smokies because it has this mossy understory here at the high elevation forest. You have to excuse me, I'm a little tired. It's been a tough uphill climb up this Gunner Fork Trail. But I'm almost to the Balsam Mountain Trail now, so that means I only have less than a mile to camp. All right, so here's the uh, Mount Sterling Trail, which is also the Benton Mackay Trail, which I'll be on in a couple weeks time. That's why I'm, I gotta prepare now. So this is a training hike, you might say. Laurel Gap Shelter is three tenths of a mile. That's where I'm heading. Good morning, folks. It's day two. So I'm at the junction with the Balsam Mountain Trail. Uh, it's close to 8.30. Got on trail a little late at about eight. I got close to 15 miles to crush today to finish this because I'm gonna hike about 4.8 miles on the Balsam Mountain Trail and get on the AT and then come down Snake Den Ridge Trail back to the Cosby Campground. So I didn't record much last night. Uh, once I got to camp, I had company, a young woman named Amanda. She's just finishing up her Benton Mackay trail through hike, and then she's going off to the PCT. So good luck to her on her future endeavors and um, gave me an idea of what to expect on the BMT because uh, since she's completing it, you know, she was able to fill me in on some of the details of what to expect because I'm going to be out there in a couple weeks is my, my goal. And, uh, yeah, so anyway, I'm going to show you what I have left on the hike here on this day two. All right, first view of the trip. All right, made it back to the Appalachian Trail. Tri-Corner Knob Shelter is just down the hill. That's where I camped twice last year, right there on the right by the horse corral, <clears throat> but further back into the woods. First time hammock camping and the second time I was in my tent. But anyway, let's get up here and see if I could find the trail to Mount Guillot. If not, then I'll just try another time because I am pressed for time a little bit, so. Just past 6,400 feet, and this is a butt kicker of a bushwhack straight up the mountain. I mean, it's tough, but should be another 200 feet of climbing and then I'll reach the summit. Hopefully I'll find a survey marker up there marking the summit. Whew, finally made it. Man, that was one of the toughest ascents I've ever done. Four tenths of a mile took 40 minutes. I mean, it was literally a bushwhack, hard to follow trail. Um, of course, I probably went off the trail quite a few times because I was stuck in between narrow pines and um, I had to pretty much break my way through them. All kinds of understory, thick, thick, thick foliage to get through. So, but made it and GPS was spot on. It led me right to the exact point on the map where the summit would be. And there is the geological survey marker as well as the sign. So I feel pretty stoked to be here to have summited the second tallest mountain in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park and the fourth highest on the East Coast, I believe it is, after Mount Mitchell, Mount Craig in the Black Mountains, and then uh, Klingman's Dome here in the Smokies and Mount Guyot, um, Guyot, always hard to pronounce that, um, being the second tallest mountain in the park. So yeah, I'm gonna take a break here, recoup my strength, 
get something to drink because I've I've earned it for that climb. And uh, I'll talk to you in a bit. Mountie yo. Another good view. This one's looking off into the North Carolina side of the trail. Previous uh, view was looking into the Tennessee side. Beautiful. All right, folks. <clears throat> so I'm almost through here, coming down the Snake Den Ridge Trail back to the Cosby Campground. I'm gonna call it a day. So thanks for watching as always. And if you haven't done so already, please like, subscribe, comment. Helps me out so I can produce more videos. See you soon. Um.